May 25th, 2020. George Floyd is suspected of trying to pass a counterfeit $20 bill. One officer on his neck, three stand by and watch as injustice unfolds. A piece of paper, man-made, man-valued over another man's life. Outrage stirs in Minneapolis, America, and the world, and here we are. Protests, riots, and anger. Another slain because of the color of their skin. Whoa, 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 some might say. You can't just jump to a conclusion like that just because he was black? That's, that's not fair. Well, that lens of fairness that so many of us try to look through will tell us that we should see all sides, but many have made the choice to look away when what they see doesn't benefit them. See, sleeping easy after they turn off the news reports about a group of people living in fear, not realizing the fact that those people have been fighting to do just that. Turn off the fear and sleep easy. Wake up. You ever try to defend yourself, but you're not given the chance to speak? Sucks, doesn't it? Now imagine feeling that for 400 years, generations without a voice because of the color of their skin. You, with the skin that has a voice, say something. Let those unheard be heard by refusing to stay silent. Speak up. It's such a real thing to say that black culture has influenced so much. And if I can make it personal for a moment, every time I pick up my guitar and play a bluesy note, I know exactly where that comes from. There is so much to celebrate and to love about black culture, but it's not enough to just love the music, love the movies, just love the food, just the fashion, because strip all that away and what's left is still worthy of love. And that's a group of human beings made in the image and likeness of God. Segway to the part where I say to my God-fearing friends, you're not off the hook. In fact, you're meant to be even deeper in this battle. You see, Jesus dying for our salvation was not a call to a comfortable life. It was a call to go forth and let that grace be known to all men. Because when we flood the earth with the will of God, we know it ends in a promise arched across the sky in color. So to sum this all up, this isn't just a battle between black and white. This is wrong versus right. This is the time to come together. We can't let anger tear us apart, but rather drive us in the right direction as a human race. Not humanity versus humanity, but humanity versus injustice. This is not going to be quick, and it's definitely not going to be easy. We're going to make mistakes along the way, but a mistake made with a heart of love is a hundred times better than heartless hate. So wake up. Speak up and live up.